Chinese leaders have been talking quite a bit about reform. One major event that would signal a change is the redress of the 1989 Tiananmen Square massacre. This week, state-run media paid a surprising tribute to the former Chinese leader whose death led to the student protests. Is change in the air? Let's take a look. Are Chinese leaders ready to address the 1989 Tiananmen Square massacre? That was the speculation on Monday, after state-run media published articles praising a former leader known for advocating reform. Hu Yaobang was the security general of the Communist Party but was ousted in 1987 for being too liberal. He died on April 15, 1989, and his death sparked a 50-day-long protest that was eventually crushed by the Chinese army. This was later known as the June 4 Tiananmen Square Massacre. Officially, the Chinese regime denies the bloody crackdown ever happened, and talk of the Tiananmen Square protests have been made taboo. But on Monday, state-run media ran pieces highlighting Hu's career, including his push for market economy and democracy. Analysts say, though, the Communist Party is still a ways off from revisiting Tiananmen. Those who decide to crush the protests like Li Peng and also Jiang Zemin are still in the political circle even though they've retired. So they still hold influence, and I think it's not likely that June 4th will be redressed. While the media blackout on Hu Yaobang may have been lifted, the same can't be said for another leader ousted for sympathizing with the protesters. Zhao Jiyang, the then premier, was put under house arrest for 15 years after objecting to the military crackdown. In articles remembering Hu Yaobang, both Zhao Jiyang's name and mentions of the Tiananmen massacre were notably missing. The leadership after Tiananmen, including the successor of Jiang Zemin, will not redress the crackdown, because that amounts to admitting that they climbed to leadership illegally. Jiang Zemin, the party chief of Shanghai before the Tiananmen Square protests, was eventually promoted. After supporting the military crackdown of Tiananmen protesters, he later became the leader of the Communist Party and the country's president. Analysts say Jiang maintains influence within the Communist Party even though he officially stepped down more than a decade ago.